Hey everyone, it's Saturday the 4th of April and as you can see it's 9.30. Actually looks like it's gone 9.30 in the camera screen but it isn't, it is actually 9.30. So, today I did take a quick trip down to Mum's, she is just down the road. I literally went from here straight to Mum's. Um, because she's disabled there's a big pile of horrible rubbish piling up by the back door so I sorted all that out for her because you know the last thing we want is rats we're trying to stay hi um, hygienic not you know make things bloody worse so I sorted all that out for her done a few other things for her grabbed some stuff from my shed while I was there hence the Sainsbury's bag and uh, came home so just uh, get the camera set up Twist my little lever here to lock it so it don't fall down. Um, I've got another little bag here full of bits, but that came from the brick shed downstairs, along with my metal toolbox on the floor that I need to sort out. Plus, I've got some bits for my um, other computer project, which is under here. I've um, got the SSD and I've got the um, drive bay adapter so I can fit it. That is a three and a half inch bay adapter to take it down to two and a half. You can see it's just basically it just bolts in like that. There's two screws, it just bolts straight into your bay, and then you bolt your SSD to these. The bag of screws came with it as well. Oops. And this little card. Technical support, blah blah blah. I don't really need that, that can go in the recycle bin. So yeah. We're gonna be looking at that during the week. There's a whole bunch of stuff I've got to sort. I've actually got, hopefully at some point during the week, three barricade lamps adding to my collection. Yes, they will be disinfected when they arrive. I trust where they're coming from, but still, you can't be too careful at the minute. Um, and this, by the way, has been sitting for about four or five days on the side, out of the way, before I actually touched it. Although, WHO um, do say that it's very unlikely that a certain thing will be transferred through the mail, but like I said, do we really want to take that chance? <laughs> anyway, I need to empty these bags out, so I thought I'd put the camera on and, you know, we'll have a look together. Well, I know what's in there, you don't. So, got a box of tools here, because I've got very little here at the minute. Well, I've got some bikes here that I could play around with, but not much in the way of tools to play around with them with. With, with, with them, with them. That's becoming quite a mouthful. <laughs> um, and plus, I've got a barricade lamp in the bedroom that I want to get sprayed up and whatnot, so I've got the paints here. I've got a little flapper disc here to clean it all down with, and some wire brush attachment. I'll try that again. Attachments for a drill. I was going to use my Dremel, but then I thought, oh, that's a little bit too small for that kind of job. So, but yeah, there's some spanners and things in here. I want to try and find some more flathead screwdrivers because I haven't got very many up here. Not decent size like that. They're all Phillips in my drawer. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much all that's in there. And another standing knife. Because I've got a couple of these at Mum's anyway, so... I think I might even have some spare blades in there. So that tub has got to go back to Mum's at some point because this is for all my nuts. But I'd actually forgotten I'd tipped my that tub of nuts out on the back bench and I just couldn't be bothered to clear it all up today. Tipped it out like over a week ago, nearly two weeks ago now. I can't remember, I was looking for a specific size of nut because it's just random nuts that I put in there. Anywho, let's stick to this bag. So, bought this bag as well. That was actually a car boot purchase, I think, last year. And uh, I haven't charged it since last year. And, well, still holding a charge. It's not as fast as it should be, but it is holding a charge. So, And I don't really need that down at Mum's. You know, if I need a cordless drill, I'll just go pinch my stepdad's. <laughs> 
I know it's either going to be in the workshop, the model railway room, or on the van, so. Alright, I'm actually going to give this a charge. Now, I don't think this one is actually polarised, so I think I've got to actually look. I hope I picked up the right charge. Yeah, I did. So that will only go in that way. Oh, it's only a 12 volt battery. Juice it up, shall we? Right, so according to that, that is charging. Static is charged, and fast flash is a broken battery or a dead battery. So, speaking of, we will go into the bedroom in a bit because I've got some more drills in there that I need to try and. Well, I don't need to try and get them to work. I want to try and get them to work. I, mean, I think I paid something ridiculous, like a fiver or something, for this. It's just been sitting in the workshop down there. But I thought, if I'm going to be doing modelling and things here, another small one probably wouldn't hurt. Like I said, don't need it down at Mum's. Right, so, we will be painting. I'm not going to be spraying this up here, I will go downstairs and up the corner around the back. Well, I've got primer. Um, there's two... Three cans of primer. I think I've got more than enough primer. That one's near enough a full can, so I might use that one. That just says two and one, it says lacquer and primer. I might try that and see what it comes out like. If not, I've got that one white because well I thought if I didn't have enough I could grey primer I could just do a white coat and of course the main colour which is going to be red and red gloss because the particular lamp design I'm going for originally came in green or red I've already got red I can't get green at the moment so that's the colour it's going to go <laughs> Right, bike maintenance spray, because I keep meaning to spray the bike I'm riding, and uh, I keep forgetting. Little junior hacksaw, because I don't think I've actually got one here in my arsenal of tools. I'm going to put that in here with all the other tools. Do I keep that? No, I'll put that in as well. Uh, here's the uh, wire brush attachments. How? Fudge that shut that I borrowed. I'll have to take those back when I'm done. A couple of bike lights for a bike I've got outside, I hope. Get these to work the way I want them to. Put those over there. Um, got some soldering work to do. Because this is actually a, um, a rechargeable bike light set. It's only a cheap shit. Cheap shit. Cheap shit. A cheap set, rather, that I got from QDs, which have currently uh, decided to close all their stores. But the issue with this is... I'm going to get the fucking switch to contact. The rear light's not very bright. Front light, more than adequate for, you know, going around town and whatnot, see? Rear light, no. So, I'm going to practice some soldering and uh, see if I can't solder some better LEDs into that. I mean, that's steady, but look at it. Shit. I think I need some cleaner on this switch as well. Brand new set as well, I haven't even used it on a bike. So yeah, that's got to go on a bike downstairs. I hope if I can change those rear LEDs, if not I've got a decent front light. You may have seen that random video I put up as well with all those lamps flashing on the wall. Well, I've got some more long screws that I'm throwing on the floor as well. Because uh, I do want to find somewhere to hang some more up and some of them screws to me aren't long enough so I'll change them. I have no idea why I put this one in there, it just ended up in the bag. And a pair of grips. There's another name for these, and I can't remember what it is at the moment. So, I'm just calling them grips. 
I've actually just realised there's another bag I can empty behind me. Great! I'm going to shed downstairs. There is some stuff in here that I'm going to leave in the bag and take to mum's because I do not need it here. Hexagon keys. Plenty of those because I've got some up there. Um, there's a funnel that can go to mum's. Oh, a bike light. Might leave that here for the bike here. There should be another one in here. Yeah, some white matte paint. There's the other bike light. Some micro adhesive activator. I don't really need that, so I don't know why that's in there. Uh, broken mud card bracket. I have no idea why that's in there. And basically, just some. Random crap that parts will stay in it. Oh. Apart from that, you need a good hammer and your arsenal tools as well. <coughs> Got tickly throat. Uh, don't need that. I mean, I don't need that here because all my jerry cans are down at Mum's anyway, so. Well. Actually, I don't know if this would work with ordinary super glue because I know it's designed for. Certain super glues you put the super glue on, spray it. Oh. oh, that's it. You put the super glue on one end or one side of the joint, spray this on the other side, put them together, and that dries it in seconds. But uh, I've not actually got the super glue that's meant to go with it, and I don't know if that'll work with just any super glue. We've got any, anything good? No, the bad crap, basically. Uh, put that down there. Right. Uh, put those there. There's a pen just gone on the bloody floor. Ooh. No idea why I put a bot cage in there. The bike I want to tinker with has actually got a bot cage on it. This is not that interesting, I'm not going to empty it out, I'm just going to show you a few bits in here. We've got some light fittings, we've got a pendant light, well part of a pendant light fitting. There's another one. Definitely going to keep hold of these because if I ever do move out of here, I'd have to put the original style light fittings back. Because if Victory ever came in, when I if I ever moved out, they would take down what the light fittings I've put up and put these up and then charge me for it. So those will go in my box of bits in the outside closet, I believe. What's sort of quiet? One of these. I don't know if I'm going to put that anywhere because it's a nice shiny metal one and I don't really have anything like this in the flat so it'd be alright if I could put it somewhere you know odd so to speak where there's not like you know another one there ah like there that is not a bad idea actually because then that way I can basically use this as a charge point as well I wouldn't have minded to be honest putting another socket beside it but Never mind. Well, I could put a little single one there. <laughs> and I have actually got some similar metal ones down at Mum's. Got a metal light switch, so I could actually change that light switch. I just can't do the fused spurs because I haven't got them. And I think that would look a bit ridiculous on um, plastic boxes. They're better off on flush fit in these ones. Uh, um, another LED bulb, another LED bulb, my little radio, very old pull cord switch. Batten light fit and there's two of these in here actually. So simple, but I love them. I don't know why. 
like I said, it's so simple. Nothing special about such like things like that. An old star light switch I thought was interesting. Don't know when these uh, originally came out, but I believe it was the 1970s. So it's got a brand on it. For SP one way use. Oh, for SP one way use L2. Okay, made in England. Brit Pat. Common AC only 5 amp 250 volts. So it shows you the age there, doesn't it? 250 volt. I don't get that on anything anymore. Uh, no, I can't see a brand name on it. It's not top. You'll have that though. It's got some sort of uh, numbers stamped in there. Oh, it's right in the middle. Twat. Right in the middle of that switch. MK. Good brand. They still exist, but they are quite expensive. And this. Still clicking really well after all these years. So, quite impressed with that, to be honest. Chuck the little lot in here. You know, as we're still on lockdown, at least for another week, but I think we all know it's going to get extended. I've got so much to do that I could do around this flat and tinker with and sort out, you know, but I just haven't been motivated. Because <laughs> I will admit, you know, this lockdown has had me quite depressed, I suppose. Anyway. Oh, you want to know a little life hack? Something that I've been doing. You open up a pack of fresh meat, well, not fresh meat, cooked meat like cooked ham or something. Um, you know what I mean, something like this. If I get my jacket, right? Like, right. And then you'd put it in a, a food bag. You can get buy rolls of food bags from most places to keep it fresh and stop it drying out. Well, I use bread bags. I keep my empty bread bags. And that works just as well. I've got a pack of cheese in there. So up there, I've got another spare one. So if you haven't got any food bags or you want to recycle and help the planet, use these. Probably not with a piece of crust in it, I can't do that out. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm sort of proud of that, that's the first ever life hack I've ever thought of. Usually people beat me to it, but I've not seen that one done. Right, anyway, before we go through to the bedroom. <laughs> that's good, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Something jammed the blade up, and now I'm going to have to open that. It's uh, a little look -see. Brand spanking new, look at that. Well, my brother did ask me what brand I got, and I couldn't remember. It's a Samson. It doesn't have to be anything that special. It's just got to do a job. It's just a build for fun. I'm building a second PC just for fun. And to just basically keep around as a spare in case my one in there decides to fail. So, I've got that, I'm not going to open it yet. I'll open that when I need it, so that's good. Not all of that. Have some fun sorting some tools later. Do you know what I hate at the minute as well? I've got no reason to get up. <laughs> no reason to get up in the mornings. And I don't like that. I really don't. You know, because I am doing my best to stay at home as much as I can. With the exception of, you know, doing an odd couple of jobs outside for mum and... Uh, the supermarket. That's about it. And the last time I went to the supermarket was nearly a week ago, so I'm quite chuffed with myself. 
Anyway, I've got some jobs that I want to get on with with the model railway this week. Um, tightened everything up for the transport in here. There we go. That's why it was creaking. Um, I've ordered some more of those project boxes, boxes, boxes even, um, so I can get on with the uh, points. I want to start getting some point motors installed. Plus, I want to make some switch boxes up for these. I've got various power supplies that I could use. I could even use a couple of, oh, well, I won't need to use two, but I've got a couple of old server power supplies in the cupboard that I could make use of. But I don't think I'll need them. I've ordered two for this project, but I might need more than that. I don't know yet. One, two. Depends how many switches and how many wires I can get in the two I've ordered. Because I ordered two bigger than the one that I've used on there. They're uh, longer, so I can get more switches on. But I'm going to need... One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, at least eight, I'm not even sure. I've got eight switches. I can't remember what tub I've put them in. There's a tub around here somewhere that's got a whole bunch of them in. Oh well. Although with some of these, because they've got different flash options, like my amber LED, I might not actually wire the amber LED in. I might keep that as it is, because that can be bolted to something. I might see if I can sneak it on my step stepdad's van just for the <laughs> fun of it. If he'll let me. <laughs> um, obviously these beacons I may not wire those up. Not yet. So really it's just these three big light bars and not that one because it is magnetic with a plug on it so I'll leave that one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Minimum is what I'm going to need, so I should be able to do that with them two boxes. This one might be a bit of a pig because it's got all these poxy wires here. I might do that one separately actually. Because I've just got the selections and whatnot and I do need to find some bulbs. Because, uh, same with that police one actually, I think the alley lights need bulbs. I think it's, I know that one needs an alley light but they're weird halogen dichroic bulbs. Uh, GU11, I think, is what they're called. I've never ever seen those in a shop, and I can't find them anywhere, so I may have to go to one of the specialist Facebook groups I'm on and see if anybody has any spares like that that I can... Okay, if you say so, that I can buy... Uh, what else? Oh, drills. That's what I came in here for. My brother got a whole bunch of new power tools for Christmas because these ones gave up. Well, they still work. The issue seems to be with this. When I put it on the charge base, it comes up with the red light on as if charging and then almost instantly switches to green saying it's charged. But... Oh, that one has actually gone. Sometimes when I pulled on the battery, it would actually make connection and make the drill work. But not with that one. It's a set of three, and I don't really want to chuck these out, because... See, the battery's clearly... I actually thought I got to pull on that battery as well to get it to make connection. Sometimes. So, that's the problem. I can take it apart. The problem is I don't have the tools to rebuild the battery because I've tried looking for one of these. Um, I've tried looking under Guild because these are Guild branded. No, in the vain hope I could find a cheap Chinese knockoff or something going on eBay, but to no luck. But I've got a feeling this will have 18650s in it, but I don't have the equipment to replace them. <coughs> it might only be one that's um, gone bad. But I can open it and I can test the cells. 
But yeah, every time I put this on the base, it says it's charged, but it obviously isn't. And I've got a feeling the contacts in there have got dirty as well, which is maybe it is just dirty contacts. Maybe I should take this apart, clean those contacts, and it might actually work a lot better. Because uh, <clears throat> I've cleaned all the contacts on the drill. I used my uh, little Dremel for that. Yep, it's sound charged. Give us what static green light is. Yeah. Don't know if you can see that from there, but green light charged. Uh, red light charging. I think flashing green is too hot. It's battery hot. And flashing red is a knackered battery. So that's the weird thing, it's not coming up as a knackered battery, so I don't think there's anything wrong with the cells. It's either that that's playing up, or it's that. And the green light is actually still on. <laughs> I've even cleaned the contacts up on this. I might actually have a look inside that, just to see if any um, component looks bad that might be causing this as well, so I'll have to pull these apart. Might do that tomorrow. But it'd be great if I could get them to work. My brother doesn't need them or want them, because he's got, like I said, a whole new set of uh, Stanley power tools, actually. He got them for Christmas. So, but, uh, something to do, get them to work. Uh, did I actually mention that I wanted to get the point motors installed on my layer, or at least the ones that I can get installed? got a few switches. I've got four switches here so I can do at least four. I'm going to have to solder wires on too. What I might do, I think might be easier, is to actually put this in my helping hand, wherever that's gone, and uh, solder the wires to here, or solder some length of wires to here, poke them out of the back of the box, and then join the other wires to it because I can solder them together and put a bit of heat shrink on them. That might be... Oh, I don't know though, because when I did that one, I had all the wires already in the box. And I just put these in my Holtman hand and just tinned each contact first. Then came back through here and tinned the wire ends and boop, boop. Simple. I think I'll do it that way, actually. Uh, speaking of, still got LEDs that I want to fit. I haven't got the right um, resistors. The resistors I've got for a 12 volt supply, but that's not a 12 volt supply, it's a 15 volt. Um, so as I'm currently using that supply, I need a different resistor, but I haven't done the calculations yet to figure out what I need. Uh, I don't even know what they are, to be honest. I know how to read a resistor, I just can't remember what each band represents, so I'll have to look it up, that's all. Good old Google. Right, is there anything else? No. <laughs> no, there isn't actually. Hear my neighbour's TV. It's not often I can hear that. Right. Okay, so I hope you liked the video and there'll be lots more to come during the week. You know, I may put the camera on again when I'm doing a bit of wiring or something. I suppose for the point motors I should do what I did with uh, this wiring and like make up a wiring loom. Which is actually going to be rather big. <laughs> Three wires to each point. Actually, I'll split the wiring into two. I'm going to need a common. Um, so I could put all the commons together. I'll make a bus bar and put somewhere under. The, actually, yeah. Keep the wiring down. I'll screw like a little bus bar under there so I can put all the wiring together. For the common, at least. Um, 
I can't remember if it's common positive or common negative now. <laughs> um, seriously, it's so simple to do and I can't remember how to do it. I'll have to look it up again. Plenty of YouTube videos. I always ask my stepdad because he's done it no end of times. I can't even drill the holes yet because I haven't got the bloody point motors in place. What? Mind my, my lamp, I've got to fix that. It's a brand new lamp. It doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!